uh, I, uh, it kind of drives itself. Just see, one finger. All I have to do is pull it back. And I let it back go. It's not the greatest vacuum cleaner. It's not the greatest uh, thing I've ever seen. Would I buy it? Mm. Am I happy that I have it? Yes. But uh, there is a few things that I haven't figured out yet. Uh, for example, since it doesn't heat up the water and it, they don't tell you what to put into the water tank, um, I normally, if I really want to do the floors, I spray floor cleaner in the front of it and then let this machine go over it and suck up the dirty water. So right now it's suck, doing a good job sucking up everything going to show you really this is a for someone who has tons of um, marble flooring or uh, uh, tile flooring um, you know that waterproof tile um, there is a friend I have she has this gigantic foyer with this this would take her like minutes it's like she does it with a bucket. So, see, it does make sure that your floors are not to stay not too wet. I don't know if you can see that. See, there's a little wetness on the floor because of the carpet. It takes that. And it gets rid of it. Then I a little bit wet left here so see it also go over it a couple of times and it vacuums it doesn't always get everything but it tries to let me put it that way and this just keeps on going on forever in your uh, entry hall or wherever I can just imagine you loving this because it's also a duster you know because you can only use water and um, so here we have something to vacuum up let's see how he does perfect Got it. It's not for uh, it's not for carpet. I wouldn't ruin my carpet. I mean, the second wash, but it's just it's not made for that. Okay. Now let me show you. It wants see. It wants to go. It all. It's always slightly pulling, so it's so easy for you to do it now. Okay, so I left I had this for a while. I left this on because I know it's gonna look messy when I take it off. So there were two questions uh, that I had for the manufacturer. So this here is the tank, the water tank. It, uh, it you could clearly see the dirty water, right? And I was thinking, how do you get the dirty water out? Because let me show you. Oh, I'm not making a mess. This is, you just open this over the sink and the clear water will come out. The clean water. And then they call this part here, the sewage part. And I was like, how does this come out? I don't want to pour it out through that little hole here in the top if i turn it around the water will come out of that hole and there's no other way and there was nothing in the description 
So if you are stumped like I was, just hope this helps. Uh, the kind people that make this here sent me a picture. So all you do is just pick this up, get rid of the dirty water, and look how dirty that is. Some, it always amazes me how it does that uh, without anything but just water. Sometimes when I feel like it, I did put a little vinegar in it. Okay, so that's it. That's how you clean them. And then when you're done, this goes back in there till it clicks. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Come on. There. You hear that click? You're happy. And really quick, I'm already way too over. This is another thing that you're going to have to learn how to do. Drove me nuts and I'm still learning. You press the button. You take this off. Uh, you'll know when you get it that this will come wet. And that's supposed to come wet because, I don't know, I had this dry. And when this is dry, it's like hard as a rock. So really, I don't know, a special silicone sponge or whatever. But Okay, so... Then you just, you don't even have to touch the mess. You just take this out, take it over to your sink, rinse it clean. Then you get a little brush. You can brush in here. Then uh, maybe wipe that out with a towel. And then put it back in. Oh, I should have cleaned it. Moment. Uh, don't do that. But I just want to show you on this side it, it you know it grabs my hairs this is brushes and then this is what's giving me the other heartache you need to make sure that this part goes in this part and this part in that part and if you do that right then it clicks oh I never get it right it it does take a couple of there we go the only way you know that you got it right is if this thing now starts working it will show you what's wrong all right let's see on okay it seems to be working seems to want to vacuum up what fell out Yep. But it wants more water. It shows you all that on the display. And see here, it left a little too much water because I was hold, holding it there. But it's like doing nothing, seriously. Yeah. It, it's not like logging around these old heavy vacuum cleaners and a bucket. Me, I've used it about 10 times now and would I buy it? Not so sure. Am I glad I have it? Absolutely. Uh, will, would this be helpful for someone who cleans for a living, industrial or commercial or house cleaning whatever this is definitely a welcome tool because it really does most of the work by itself even if it doesn't get every single you can even go over these mats without making a mess And then when I'm done, oh my god, 10 minutes. When I'm done, press it, clean it, and then put it in the stand. I show you. That's the stand. Once it goes in there, it starts automatically your cleaning cycle, and uh, your brush will be clean. But you have to clean everything else inside too. 
So it's pretty cool. Hope, hope this was somewhat helpful.